Inside Science TV. When twins Chris and Alex were just babies, their mom Nina saw the signs. I knew there was something different about them. Their speech was delayed, just these repetitive behaviors. Both boys have autism. When their twin sisters Emma and Tessa came along, Nina was worried the girls would have the disorder too. I was freaked out. I really didn't know what to do. Nina enrolled the girls in a trial that examined younger siblings of children with autism. If you have one child who has an autism spectrum disorder, it makes it more likely, one in five, that an additional child will develop the disorder. Researchers found the lack of certain communication behaviors in siblings can predict future autism symptoms. In our paper, we were finding them at eight months of age. One of the most important indicators that a child is not at risk, he or she exhibits a behavior called initiating joint attention, or playing with an object and sharing it. Here we're looking at eye contact um, as well as using the use of gestures, so things like pointing and showing an object to an examiner. Kids who scored low on this type of communication were more likely to show autism symptoms by age three. It's so important to get these kids early so that if they're showing signs that may develop into symptoms of autism, we can intervene with them. Both of you have Jacks. No. <laughs> Nina learned her girls did not have the disorder and is thankful they won't face the same challenges as their brothers. I'm Josh Lebowitz, reporting. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.